This $30, 3004 fertilizer with 2% iron is by far the best deal that is available at any big box store or online. And I'm gonna compare it against five other popular fertilizers. But before I unveil it, I'm gonna go over how to compare different fertilizers so you'll know you're getting the best deal. I'll also show you what the numbers on the bag mean and how to calculate the amount of nitrogen and other nutrients you're actually getting in each bag. Not everyone has a business account or can buy a two-ton pallet of fertilizer at their local site one or landscape supply house to get the best price. With fertilizer costs still high this year due to inflation and supply chain shortages, we're now faced with the question, what is the best deal on fertilizer and how do you find it? In a little bit, I'm gonna tell you what that best deal is for fertilizer available to most consumers online or at your local big box store. But first, let's talk about the key ingredient in fertilizer, and that's nitrogen. You've probably heard about the importance of putting down the right amount of nitrogen, but why is nitrogen so important? It's because nitrogen promotes healthy leaf growth by encouraging the production of chlorophyll, which is a chemical vital to photosynthesis in any plant. It's the main building block of healthy grass. All macro and micronutrients are important, but nitrogen is a leader for lawn health, color, and growth. Now, let's get into how much nitrogen is in a bag of fertilizer. To do this, you're gonna to need to get three numbers from the bag. The MPK value, the weight, and the coverage area, all of which should be easily visible on the front of the bag. First, on any bag of fertilizer, you'll see what is called the NPK value, or three numbers that represent the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in the bag. These are called macronutrients because plants require them in a larger quantity. All right, the first number is always gonna be nitrogen. The second is gonna be phosphorus. And the last number is gonna be potassium. Each number is actually a percentage of how much of each of the three nutrients are in the bag. So let's say that the first number is 20, then that's 20% nitrogen in the bag. If the last number is four, that means 4% of the bag is potassium. Next, you wanna make sure that you know the weight of the bag. It's gonna be clearly labeled in pounds on the front, usually near the bottom. The last number that you need to find is how much area the bag is gonna cover. Uh, most commercially available fertilizers are sold in bags that cover 5,000 or 15,000 square feet. But with shrinkflation happening, it may be 4,000 or 12,000. The coverage area is usually displayed right on the bag and is pretty easy to find. Now that we have our three numbers, it's time for some math. Yes, unfortunately, there is math involved, but it's gonna be pretty simple, I promise. I'm gonna go through the formulas by doing a real world example with this bag of basic Scott's Turf Builder fertilizer. We first need to find out how many pounds of nitrogen is in the bag of fertilizer. We take the percentage nitrogen and we multiply that by the weight of the bag. This is gonna give us the total amount of pounds of nitrogen that's in the bag of fertilizer. As I mentioned, the NPK numbers are actually percentages. So this bag is labeled 3204. So in this case, the bag is 32% nitrogen because the first number is 32. The bag weighs 37 and a half pounds. So when you multiply the percentage of nitrogen with the weight, so 32% times 37 and a half pounds, that equals to 12 pounds of nitrogen in this bag. Now we need to know how much you're actually paying for each of those pounds of nitrogen. Let's stick with this bag of Scott's fertilizer here. So here's the math for how much it costs per pound of fertilizer. This bag is currently $62.97 at my local big box store. We know there are 12 pounds of nitrogen in the bag. So doing the math, the cost, $62.97, is divided by how many pounds of nitrogen in the bag, which is 12 pounds. And that equals to $5.25 for one pound of nitrogen. Remember, the total cost of the bag divided by the pounds of nitrogen in it is gonna give you how much you're paying per pound of nitrogen. Again, that's the price divided by the pounds of nitrogen in the bag. And that gives you how much each pound of nitrogen costs. This is important because some fertilizers can weigh more than others, but the total percentage of nutrients like nitrogen can actually be significantly less. So to wrap up the Scott's bag example, we need to next find out how many pounds of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet there are. This is so that you can calculate how much you're actually putting down in your lawn. For reference, 1,000 square feet is gonna be roughly the size of half a tennis court. Why do we use 1,000 square feet? Well, that's the lawn care industry standard measurement and it's the best way to easily translate the coverage of any product 
to the size of your own lawn. That's why most lawn care applications are done by 1,000 square feet. The average American lawn is about 10,000 square feet. So if you have more or less lawn, reducing the calculation to 1,000 is gonna help you know how much of the bag to spread. To figure out how much nitrogen we're putting down per 1,000 square feet, you need to keep two numbers ready. The pounds of nitrogen in the bag and the area of the bag divided by 1,000. We've already discovered that the bag has 12 pounds of nitrogen. So for the second number, it can cover 15,000 square feet. So we divide 15,000 by 1,000 and we come up with 15. All right, so if your bag covers 12,000 square feet, you would just divide the amount of nitrogen in the bag by 12. If it covers 5,000 square feet, divide the amount of nitrogen by five. All right, here's the formula one more time. Take the pounds of nitrogen that you came up with before, and then you divide that by the area the bag covers divided by 1,000. That's gonna give you the pounds of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet. Measuring your lawn to find out how much area you're actually working with is one of the first steps of lawn care. You can do it either online through Google Maps uh, or with a tape measure. Split your lawn into different areas and then figure out the square footage of each. When you have all those, you just add them up. If you don't want to learn the basics about calculating fertilizer or if you're allergic to math, my friend Mark over at LawnFix.com, that's LawnPHIX.com, has a great online fertilizer calculator that you can use. I'm going to put the link down below in the description. Okay, now back to finding the best value fertilizer for the average homeowner. After all the calculations, this Scott's Turf Builder costs $5.25 per pound of nitrogen. Next, we have a comparison to another popular fertilizer, Yard Mastery Flagship, which is usually on sale for around $69.99 and it has an MPK value of 2406. This 45 pound bag covers 15,000 square feet. It weighs more and covers the same area as the Scott's, but you'll notice that the percentage of nitrogen in the bag is significantly lower. It's also a lot more expensive. After we do the math, it comes out to $6.48 per pound of nitrogen. That's almost 50% more than the Scott's. Here's a comparison of the five most popular basic lawn fertilizers from online and retail stores in early 2024. These are just straight fertilizers. There's no pre-emergence, weed control, or anything else in them. We compared the Scott's Turf Builder, the Yard Mastery Flagship, Vigro from Home Depot, Stay Green from Lowe's, the Lorganite, and finally our winner. Okay, so the best deal for fertilizer for homeowners is Expert Gardener, available at Walmart. This has a MPK of 3004 and comes with 2% iron. A bag covers 12,000 square feet and weighs 33.6 pounds. And it costs uh, $30.98. So this means it comes out to $3.07 for a pound of nitrogen. Also, for your convenience, Walmart offers free shipping to your door. Of course, your UPS and FedEx drivers are going to begin to hate you. Expert Gardener has 2% iron in it, so that's going to help green up your lawn. It costs less than the other options, and it provides you the most nitrogen per pound. And, believe it or not, Expert Gardener is a division of Pennington Seed, so it's made by a name brand. So with a little simple math, you can figure out what the best bang for your buck is when you buy fertilizer and how much nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus you're actually applying to your lawn. As always, if you found any of this information helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons.